Morning, morning, y'all. It is another glorious day here on an Arizona homestead, and welcome. For those of you who are stopping by for the first time, hey, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, thank you, and we appreciate you. Listen, today we got to do some things in the garden. And check it out, y'all. I'm in long sleeves. I know. It's exciting. I know. Try, try, try to calm down. Calm down a little bit. I know. I'm super stoked that I'm in long sleeves. Trust me, because it has been a long time long summer or it seemed like it was a long summer maybe it wasn't a long summer I say that every year maybe I don't know but here in the desert it gets hot and towards the end of the summer you're like come on can you end already but anyway <laughs> oh my goodness check it out the purple hull peas let's get in here and get these we need to get all this harvested so let's do that now Yes. Yes, yes. Let's take a look. Oh, whoop. I got a couple. I want you to see they're kind of speckled. See that? Purple hull peas. Woohoo! Let's get these all harvested. What we got so far. I always wondered what was going to be inside the ones that were super dry like this. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Oh, dropping them. It's windy today. Another windy day. Look at those. Yes, they're a little drier but they're still good. This is our first year, like I said, and this is super exciting. Because if you take a look, they're crawling up all along the lattice here. I love it. I absolutely love it. Wow, that's incredible. Love it. Oh, there's some behind the lattice. I need to reach through and grab those too. There's some more of the drier ones. Still got a carrot. Remember, I companion planted with carrots. Let's go ahead and take those too. Lots of greenery. Can hardly see the carrots. All right, a couple of carrots there. Looks like there's a couple more in here. Thought we had gotten all these. These were the short and sweet variety. Let's get back on these peas. Some of them are really, ba oh, really back in here. You have to kind of look close. I think the flowers are absolutely beautiful as well. purple the vine is it actually looks like right there when I was looking at the pop that was one but that's just the vine it literally is purple as well oh my goodness look at these up here y'all almost missed all of those almost missed it forgot to look high and low these are really tall 
Let's stop by. Don't you worry, there will be no purple hole pee left behind. So this is how I harvest the purple hull peas. I like to relax in my recliner, get a towel on my lap, and just go ahead and shell away and watch TV, watch a movie, whatever it is. They're super easy. I'm actually holding the camera so I can't shoot with both hands, but I just pop these open. They pop, pop out, and there you go. Let's try another one. one-handed, it's a little tricky. Basically what you do is you're crunching it down the seam. It's got a little seam down it. Here, let me show you. See that little seam there? Yeah, there you go, that's a better shot. See the seam there? I'm just kinda like cracking it down that seam and they just pop open. And that's what the inside of the shell looks like. Nice purple color on this one. Love it. Oh, so close. 0.946. I grew a pound of purple hull peas, y'all. Thank you for stopping by Arizona Homestead today. We have had a full pound of purple hull peas in our first year, and it's very exciting. Well, as always, my friends, be happy, be well, and be blessed. Until next time, bye-bye.